Welcome everyone to the 10th episode of A Few Moments with God. I'm Swag, your host. And before we get started with today's lesson, let's go to the Lord with a few moments of prayer. Ah, Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all the blessings you have provided us with. Thank you for this time now, Lord, to study your word, Lord. Help me to um, speak the words that um, you want me to say about today's topic. And help the people who are listening to today's podcast not only um, hear the words that I am speaking, but also understand the, them so they may be able to apply them in their own lives and understand the teachings of the church, which come from you. Ask these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome back to another episode of Few Moments with God, with me, Swag, your host. Last episode, we learned about the Sacrament of Baptism, and this week, we will be examining the sacrament that immediately follows it in the Catholic Church, Confirmation. What is the Sacrament of Confirmation? What are the symbols in the sacrament, and what do they represent or mean? What are the spiritual blessings granted by the sacrament? These and other questions we will be learning about in today's episode. The Sacrament of Confirmation falls after baptism and is the second of three of the sacraments of initiation into the church. Like baptism, it is usually performed at Easter by the bishop or priest upon those receiving the sacrament. Unlike baptism, lay people are not allowed to celebrate the sacrament, and for a priest to celebrate it, he has to receive permission from the bishop of his diocese, and this is usually granted only in rare circumstances. The main symbol of this sacrament is sanctified oil, which is known as chrism. During the sacrament, the celebrant will mark the person receiving the sacrament with the sign of the cross in the oil while saying, Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. After praying for all the recipients, send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. The oil represents the gift of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament and the gifts he gives to each new member of the church. It is also a sign of consecration which means to be set apart as holy or sanctified, which is how we are expected to try and live our lives going forward after this sacrament. The Holy Spirit is strengthened during the sacrament, and so are the gifts of it. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. With these gifts, the new believers are better able to serve the Lord in their lives and witness for Him moving forward. You might be asking, but where does the anointing with chrism come from? It comes from the Old Testament, where prophets, priests, and kings were anointed with oil. The apostles knew that the church was to be a chosen race, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, as St. Peter told us this in his first letter. In this episode, we have learned about the Sacrament of Confirmation. We have learned what is involved in the sacrament, and what the main symbol is, and what it represents. We also learned where the symbol came from in the Bible. Next time, we will learn about the sacrament of the Eucharist. Until my next episode, may God bless you and keep you safe. Don't forget to share this episode with others who may also be blessed by listening to it. As always, links to support the podcast will be in the description. God bless and take care. Goodbye.